Prince Harry and Meghan Markle seem bent on revenge with their Netflix show, a royal expert has claimed. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams also described the six-part documentary as extremely destructive. The Sussexes made a series of fresh allegations against the royals in the final three episodes, which dropped yesterday. Mr Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk, it is an extremely destructive series. It makes serious allegations about the royal family colluding with the press against the Sussexes. Also it highlights the breakdown of the close ties between the once inseparable brothers, especially at the pivotal Sandringham summit where their hope of being half and half out was rejected. It is mainly aimed at the United States and the wider world and it is unclear what, if anything, the royal family can do to counter the allegations in it. It clearly shows the Sussexes in control of the narrative. However as a couple who only wanted peace and love, they also seem bent on revenge with uncertain future consequences. In the second part of the series, Harry claims there is a dirty game between the palace and the media. He said, I have 30 years experience of looking behind the curtain and seeing how the system works and how it runs. Just constant briefings, about other members of the family, about favors inviting the press in. It's a dirty game. There is leaking but there is also planting of stories. So if the comms team want to be able to remove a negative story about their principal they will trade and give you something about someone else's principal. Among the most damaging claims are that Prince William erupted at him and King Charles said things that were not true at the Sandringham summit arranged by the late Queen in January 2020 to solve the Megxit crisis. Harry said, it was terrifying to have my brother scream and shout at me and my father say things that just simply weren't true. And my grandmother, you know, quietly sit there and take it all in. But you have to understand that, from the family's perspective, especially from hers, there are ways of doing things and her ultimate, sort of, mission, goal, responsibility is the institution. Harry said he was given five options, ranging from all in, no change to all out, and he chose option three, half in, half out. He added, it became very clear, very quickly, that that goal was not up for discussion or debate. He also claimed the meeting was deliberately arranged so Meghan could not attend. And he claimed the fallout from the summit led him to leave the UK after Kensington Palace lied to protect my brother when it issued a joint statement in both their names the same day without his permission denying a story that William had bullied him out of the royal family. The Duke said, Once I got in the car after the meeting, I was told about a joint statement that had been put out in my name and my brother's name, squashing the story about him bullying us out of the family. I couldn't believe it. No one had asked me. No one had asked me permission to put my name to a statement like that. I rang Emma and I told her and she burst into floods of tears because within four hours they were happy to lie to protect my brother, and yet for three years they were never willing to tell the truth to protect us. So there was no other option at this point. I said, we need to get out of here. During the final episode, Megan said that above all, love wins as she read her. 